With Tanium and ServiceNow, you can easily achieve software asset management for install-based licensing. Powered by the Now platform, utilizing the Tanium Service Graph Connector. In this view, on a small consumable scale, you can see real data being populated into a ServiceNow CMDB directly from Tanium. This includes configuration items, relationships, and software installations. Let's focus on those devices in this demo. By using the Service Graph Connector for Tanium, we are able to quickly leverage Tanium's knowledge of the operational environment and the software that is installed on every device, no matter the operating system or network. We can build the ServiceNow CMDB to a point where we can quickly achieve these installation-based licensing outcomes for our software asset management program within hours, all because of the Service Graph Connector between Tanium and ServiceNow. Since we already have all the needed installation data from the Tanium integration, our foundation is already built for a cohesive software asset management practice for installation-based software. Most customers have their purchasing teams upload entitlement data, or ServiceNow can pull that information in through an integration with their purchasing system. The first thing we will do is run reconciliation, which allows us to see a live compliance posture. This uses the installations from Tanium and the loaded entitlements. Next, the publisher-specific view gives us each individual product underneath that specific publisher. We can see statistics around various CMDB metrics fed by the Tanium Service Graph Connector, providing us all the live data that we need. Now let's dive even deeper to look at a specific product, Microsoft Project 2016. We can see that the licensing metric is per device, meaning that the way the software is licensed is per installation on each device. Tanium has told us how many installs are out there so we can line it up against that purchasing information and see our licensing compliance. Here, you see that we own 120 licenses, but based on the installed countout in the environment, we would require 156 in order to be compliant. This gives us a delta of 36 installs. Now, as a software asset manager, we will want to get us back into compliance. So what options do we have? ServiceNow has built-in remediation options. Since we aren't using allocations to track Project 2016, we can filter out Create Allocations. The same goes for our unallocated install strategy, so we filter that out as well. This leaves us with two options. We can purchase rights to the tune of about $40,000, or we have this option to remove unlicensed installs. We can see a list of 40 reclamation candidates, but how do we identify these installations as removal candidates? Another part of the Service Graph Connector with Tanium is the population of software usage data into ServiceNow. ServiceNow workflows can be used to create appropriate reclamation candidates based on actual software usage tracked in real time by Tanium. If we are confident in the identification of our reclamation candidate, we can go ahead and use ServiceNow client software distribution and Tanium's ability to install or remove software from devices in order to reclaim the software through an automated workflow. Simply click on the Reclaim All button. Once Tanium has uninstalled the software and reclaimed the licenses from all of the removal candidates, we can come back to our main dashboard in just a few minutes, run reconciliation again, and since we've removed those installations, the new information will be reflected in the dashboard. With the help of the Tanium Service Graph Connector, you can get a completely accurate picture of your software inventory and usage and save money on underutilized or non-compliant software in as little as a few hours. Tanium and ServiceNow, better together.